but to show you very quickly how it looks like i'm actually going to create create a file called as let's add a properties and let's add a name for this properties with a property name is equal to log path and oops and let's give the path name as e colon double slash locks right and here i'm going to create one more appender so you can see there is an appender already available for the console but i'm going to create one more appenders here appenders and within this appender i'm going to create what is called as a rolling file and this guy is very very important because here you can specify what kind of mechanisms logging that you need to perform so right now i'm going to do a file logger with a file name of whatever file name that you want to give so basically i'm going to create that particular file under the log path and this is the place where it's going to create and the name which i'm going to give is something uh let's say one two three four underscore my log dot log so this is going to be my file name every time it's going to create and then i can say the file pattern as well so file pattern is equal to again which folder that you're going to create so that's going to be the log path and i'm going to create it under this with some kind of pattern maybe again it's the same thing one two three four underscore my log underscore new or maybe some different date dot log so you can specify any date patterns that you want to specify and then you can end this rolling file pattern and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a pattern layout so this pattern layout i'm just going to copy guy from here so this pattern layout is exactly the same thing that you are seeing right here so you can see the date and time something like this and then this is the class from where you're going to see the message and this is the level so as i said this is the error which i'm going to specify the error level and then this is the class which is responsible for the log error and this is the message right so this is the pattern layout so i'm just going to copy that i'm going to paste it over here so i want to see exactly the same thing in the external file as well the last thing which i'm going to add is what is called as a policies so i can policy create a policies and the policy is going to be on startup triggering policy so this is the policy which i'm going to create basically there we go so these are some of the important information that you need to specify for your appender all right so i'm going to save it very quickly and let's try to run this and see if it's really going to create a folder for me so let's see within this e colon i don't have anything called as locks at least and now if i try to run this particular piece of code let's see what's going to happen there we go we got a message here but at the same time we have a locks folder as well and you can see that we have this one to three underscore my log dot log boom you can see there is no message actually and don't fear yet because it is nothing to do with our code actually we have missed one important piece of line of code this one this is something very very important because this will tell you which message to be appended which message should be shown all those things so what if i add the trace and right now it is saying the appender ref is equal to console so we need to add one more appender ref so this is the reference for this particular appender and it is showing this particular information in the logging but we also need to show this file logger as well so i'm gonna paste it over here i'm gonna save this and now if i try to run this code if everything is okay then you will actually see that the file logger should also be created oops we got a message there but let's see what is the output there hmm yep i know what is the problem again we don't really need to have two appenders let's have only one appender and now if i try to run this code there we go seems to be like everything is working fine and now if i go to the logs folder and now if i open this you can see that the message will be appearing here with the information and for the error 
So you can keep on adding this kind of information here. So let's say if your framework is initializing, then you can say that the framework is initializing. And if the framework is done with the testing, you can say that the framework testing has done. And if you're exiting the user login page, then you can create this logger. So you can keep on adding this logging information with an info. And if there is any debug information that you need to add, you can also add that. And if for some reason it just fails and you want to add that information as well, then you can call the logger.error information. So you can keep on using this using this particular log4j2, right? And once again, as I already said, we are going to make use of our own custom library for logging mechanism. So let's quickly see that in our next lecture. Thank you.